Hi, this is Tim at Slide Dynamic, and this is just a how to video um, of some of the flash animations um, we've created that work in Prezi. One of the challenges in Prezi with flash animations is they run continuously, they like loop. Um, so, what we've done is we've built some that not only kind of work when you arrive at the correct path point. Um, but they automatically move on on the conclusion of the animation to the next path point So in this YouTube video, I'll leave a link where you can download the files. I'm going to use here. So we've got four um, And a couple of things to note uh, One they do not work on things like iPad and the iPhone. So if you're using the Prezi viewer app on uh, any iPhone or uh, iPad they won't work uh, because they're flash um, but if you're using them in Prezi's desktop or Prezi.com then they should be fine. One thing here to also mention you can't actually add these directly into Prezi.com uh, you need to add them to Prezi desktop and then upload to Prezi.com from Prezi desktop if you load them directly into Prezi.com they won't work. So important things um, there are four here uh, let me just go and add one um, let's do a plane uh, so there it is and you'll see it moving so I'm just going to kind of overlay it so you don't need to connect it to the path point directly you just need to kind of size it relative to the path point and so they're transparent as well so you don't need to um, worry about the background they only run the animation and the animation will run continuously um, so you can size it basically in Prezi's desktop but when you go to actually present it or upload it then it will run correctly so that's one example so you can just kind of overlay it over a graphic or a part of Prezi but it has to be roughly the same size as the um, the hidden frame or the graphic that you've got let me go and add another one so let me just go and add a map let me go and add that down here and then let me add on top of that another example so I'll just have a um, you can size them bigger actually than the graphic that should work so let me go and add that path point and then let me add that over the top and let's go and add a completely different one so let's go and add somebody walking and let's just connect that directly to the path point and then finally uh, let's go and add the sideways one and let's go and add a shape over the top so you can add shapes over the top or underneath Add a hidden frame. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so let's go and present. Go back to the beginning. So we can then go and present as if we're presenting or if we're uploading it. So the animation works, that first one. animation works on the second one the chat walking towards us works and then uh, just to show that you can put a shape over the top of them or underneath them it doesn't really matter works as well so while you're in uh, the the kind of desktop presenter mode they won't naturally move on to the next um, path point it's only when you publish it as a portable Prezi or upload it to Prezi.com will it actually transition to the next path point so it just allows you to um, you to test these things out so whenever you go back to whichever view you'll find that the flash animation runs and because it's flash they're vector based so they load quite quickly as well um, so that's how to add them to your Prezi so you can connect the animation directly in the path point or you can roughly size it over um, over the graphic um, you can put graphics underneath uh, as we've shown or you can connect Prezi's path point directly to the animation anyway I'll leave a link here yeah, so you can download and test it yourself and if you have any questions just leave me a note thanks very much